Hey there boss, today we're having a look at the clip render in Resolume Arena. I will be using Arena for this tutorial, but the clip render is also available in Resolume Avenue. The clip render allows for high quality rendering of your clips. This is useful when you want to make your own loops inside of Resolume or share your work with other VJs. To render a clip, simply right click the clip and hit Render to File. The render panel will show up and we can see our render going. Here you also have quick access to your recent renders allowing you to drag them back into your project. Additionally you can change the rendering preset or open up the render settings, which we'll get back to in a bit. You can also render a clip or multiple clips by dragging them onto the render panel. The clip render will always render a single clip at the exact length of that clip. Additionally, it works offline. This means the render is spot on, no missing frames or frame drops. If you want to capture multiple clips at the same time, you should be using the record panel instead. A tutorial about the record panel can be found in the video description. The length is an important bit when using the clip render, so let's have a look at how length works. When working with a video clip, the render will pick up the footage between the start and end handles. When I use the handles to shorten this clip and render it out, we get a shortened version of the clip. When working with sources, we manually have to set the length. So I will take this linescape source, set the duration to 10 seconds and hit render. Now we've got a 10 seconds render of the linescape. Note that you can render multiple files. Select multiple clips, hit render and they will queue up, rendering them one at a time. Rendering will follow the composition settings. This means that the render will adhere to the composition resolution and frame rate. When using the clip render and with the frame rate set to auto, clips will be rendered at their own frame rate, while sources are recorded at 30 frames per second. When using a custom frame rate, this frame rate will be used for both clips and source rendering. The clip render is a flexible system, but there are a few rules you should be aware of to optimize your renders. You can render video or video with audio, but it's not possible to isolate audio. The clip render will render the clip at that clip's speed. If a clip has its speed set to 0, Resolume will treat it as if the speed has been set to 1. Besides that, group speed and composition speed are ignored when rendering. Only clips with transport set to BPM sync or timeline can be rendered. Transport modes like Semti and Denon are not supported. Clips set to BPM sync will be rendered based on the current global tempo. Additionally, it is not possible to render live inputs like capture devices, NDI streams and Siphon or Spout. The renderer needs a file or source to work with. For this reason, the feedback and video router sources cannot be rendered. The rendering settings can be found through the preference menu or directly from the render panel. In the preferences, we can modify presets or create and save our own. If you would like to learn more about all these settings, make sure to check out our codec tutorial. A link to this video will be in the video description. Additionally, we can set the folder for our renders. Note that you can quick access your render folders from the file panel. Hit the drop down and look for the render folder. This will navigate to the folder set in the preferences. And that was it for the clip render tutorial. I hope you have learned something today and I will see you in the next one.